Gail and Summer are having a chat before we head out for our visit. Come walk with us as we take you through history behind the scenes inside the Clos Lucet. And we have to talk loud. Because we're going to Okay. So are we ready? Yeah. Stop. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. I'm... Okay, stop. Right. Okay. Okay. Or again. Stop. Good morning. I'm Christy. Good morning. I'm Summer. Bonjour. Good morning. I'm Gail. And we're coming live. Oh, shoot. I, I forgot to. Or again, another clap. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Christy. Good morning, I'm Summer, bonjour. Good morning, I'm Gail. And we're coming to you live from the gardens of the Clos Lucet in Amboise. Gail, can you tell us a little bit about the Clos Lucet? Yes, I'm here for that. And, uh, and, and who are you with today? Uh, oh. I'm with French Dish. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> So my name is Gail Ibramsa, I'm a sales director of this place, so I'm trying to, to explain wh where we are. Uh, this is the place where Leonardo da Vinci used to live and the place where he dies, the place where he lives here three years uh, to, by the courtesy of the King Francis I, François I. We are just a uh, neighbor of uh, the Chateau Amboise. Uh, we are only at uh, half a mile, uh, 400 meters far from here. Uh, and we are in a small human-sized uh, yes. palace uh, provided by the king uh, to Leonardo da Vinci. And then Leonardo da Vinci came here with the three major masterpieces, the Mona Lisa, the Saint John Baptiste, and the Virgin and the Child, and the Child uh, which are um, belonging to the French heritage since 1919. Gosh, amazing. Wow, and when so you much said, history, yes. When you said uh, Leonardo da Vinci, the sun came out. Yeah. Came out. <laughs> of course, which that's is, right. Which is fabulous because uh, you have not only the Chateau du Clos Lucet, which we're going to visit as well, but an incredible garden uh, behind us. And you can see... Beautiful. What, what can we find in the park or the garden? The park is uh, 16 acres, 8 hectares uh, large, uh, and uh, for now 15 years uh, we are providing to our visitors the reproduction, uh, human scale, and human size reproduction of the invention of Da Vinci. So you, are, you can see a, a tank, you can see uh, uh, many bridges, uh, because da, yes. da Vinci is not only a painter, it's uh, mostly an engineer, a civil engineer. Uh, so that's uh, the, the thing here we are providing to our visitors. We are receiving every year 30,000, I mean, in 2019, 30,000 uh, people from the United States and 6,000 uh, from uh, North America, from Canada. So um, we are really American friendly. Yes! <laughs> yes. Love your choice of sweatshirt today. Yeah, I, I bought that in, in a shopping mall, of course. <laughs> and I think it was in a, a, in a, a Jersey Garden, oh. uh, across to New York. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's the best place to go on the shopping mall there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. When he went to uh, Los Angeles to um, mm -hmm. meet his partners in uh, the States, he was kind enough to take a bottle of wine to my parents there. So yes, thank true. you for that. <laughs> Such a sweetheart. And just to speak about the chateau, it's uh, so much history about the obviously Leonardo da Vinci who lived here the last three years of his life um, the king Francois Premier who invited him here lived just down the street at the Chateau Royal de Bois. Yeah. but and the park is so fun because uh, you see um, reenactments uh, is that the word reenactments of his inventions and they're interactive right like, my children love coming here to play um, they you can take a boat as well um, yeah, there's, yeah. A place. there's a mini experience and um, as everything is coming from the I mean, the, all the source of inspiration of Da Vinci comes from the nature. Yeah, so perfect. that's why we have to use the nature. We have to see the trees, we have to feel yeah. the wind. And yes. Da Vinci was so curious. I mean, a lot of scientists are saying that Da Vinci used to have the same interest of a, of a child of six years old. Yes. So imagine yes. an adult fascinated by a, a leaf falling down and then, and then he will realize that the air can support something to fly. 
Yes. Every pilot, every uh, everybody is uh, using the air today uh, are studying the history of flight engineering and the first to think about flying uh, is, uh, is, uh, is talking about that and that's quite interesting. Yeah. So the park is just wonderful and you can, it's great for families, right? You have yeah. um, so many things to do for the children, so it's a great place. Um, tell us a little bit about the chateau itself. Is It's privately owned, is that correct? Yes, it's privately owned since 1854 okay. and it has, been, it has opened to the public in 1954. Same okay. time as Chateau Chenonceau, we are only at 12 kilometers far from Chenonceau. Right. And in this time, uh, only private owners try to open and try to find the interest of uh, uh, first uh, tourists. Yes. And, and in this time, uh, as uh, Francois, the owner, actual owner, the current owner told me, uh, in this time people were uh, ringing or uh, pulling the bell uh -huh. and someone were coming. And uh, if, what, if it was uh, tea time, uh, the, the owner say, okay, we'll come and see and uh, let's have a tea. And uh, uh, it was another kind of a tourist product. Right, yeah. okay. So I ha I'm very curious about the Sambris family mm -hmm. because I'm a big fan of the famous writer, Gonzague Sambris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, all the books he's written about the different kings, my favorite, one of my favorite being Louis XI, Louis XI. Yeah. Louis uh, and the most recent one, Andrews in French History. <laughs> and so we know, but not a lot, about the fact that they grew up here. Yeah. Gonzague yeah. and his brother Francois. Uh, they were, they were, was, it yeah. always, was, was the chateau always part of their family, or was it. I mean, it, it's part an of the family uh, Saint Brice since uh, 1854. It was a kind of a gift uh, provided by uh, Napoleon. To uh, one of the uh, old, old uh, grandfather of uh, Francois, and since this time, uh, they were most of the Saint Louis family came here from Paris or traveling from Paris to here uh, for uh, um, Easter holidays and uh, Christmas holidays. So it was like the family weekend getaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, nice, nice place. <laughs> uh, nice weekend getaway place. Yes, I would have to say. But what a what a privilege to grow up in such sure, a historic. Sure. I mean, Gonzague when place. when he was uh, uh, producing uh, visits to a uh, guest. Uh, I remember when he was uh, talking about uh, uh, hiding in trees and uh, oh, all the old famous legends uh, uh, yeah, that uh, the, the mother uh, where. Uh, Telling the, the children in this time, and and they are deeply touched by that, and they were the, the, the source of the interest to develop the tourist side and to let the people know better the story of Da Vinci. Yes. Uh, are, it was uh, deeply uh, produced and uh, involved by the, the mother, uh, Madame oh, Agnes. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah, how wonderful! And how wonderful to yeah to take that decision to. Share yeah. such yeah. a wonderful piece of history with yeah. the public, yeah. and even the the, the the current generation. I mean, the, the young uh, uh, Saint Brice uh, family. Uh, they have in their uh, um, they they have to work uh, one or two seasons yeah. uh, to see the, the, the tourist product and to to to, to see how how the Colisee is now, so they are yeah. also deeply involved in the, in the product. Okay, that is great to be so involved and Absolutely. so like that they're able to like connect yeah. with, yeah. with the yeah. public and because I, I, from what I've understood there's a lot of promotion outside of Amboise to encourage people to come. And visit this and discover. Yeah, yeah. It goes all yeah. And, and, and we are really different than any other chateau. You know, most of the chateau they are talking about French history. Mm -hmm. uh, they have French decor. They have French tapestries. They have French furniture. Here, we have a tiny house, human-sized house. Yes. Uh, but we, have a, we, we are talking about a great, great spirit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I, I, I saw on TV the um, you know uh, the, the the rating of the mm -hmm. Google research. Worldwide, yeah. and uh, um, Da Vinci was one of the the top, the, the top of the Google research uh, worldwide. So it, it's, mm -hmm. it's impressive, um, and of course there is a lot of books written about Da Vinci. There is a lot of not secrets. Uh, we we don't want to to talk about uh, Da Vinci code. We don't want to talk <laughs> about. We, we want to be in the truth, 
we want to be in the, the, the true reality, reality of, of this great mind. Yeah, so, so I know uh, Walter Isaacson wrote uh, fairly recently a, a biography about Da Vinci. Yeah, yeah, this, and this, there's yeah. some rumor that they might be making a film about Da Vinci. Is there any truth to that? Yeah, the, the only thing in 2016, uh, uh, biography uh, name uh, is Leonardo, uh, written by Walter Isaacson, right, right. which is one of rated the uh, bestseller in the U.S. Yes. Maybe since this time we have a lot of increasing uh, visitors of uh, of Americas. We don't know. We we, we, we don't know the, the relation yet. But in fact, since the book has been launched, yes. uh, Paramount Pictures from LA mm -hmm. bought the copyright book. So I don't know if it is only to put on a library or to make a film. Oh. <laughs> Uh, and, <laughs> and currently, uh, uh, there is. If you go on Google uh, and you, you you write Leonardo da Vinci, Leonardo DiCaprio, yes. you will find uh -huh. a lot of press release dated from 2017 talking about that. Yeah, so, that Leonardo DiCaprio might play Leonardo da Vinci. I think he should, and I think he should film it here. I'll, I'll, even, I'll work on that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the, 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 it's true. I mean, the We're last, the, 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 the last. <laughs> The last breath of Da Vinci will be, and the last minute of his uh, uh, of his life will be in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a studio in LA or in the real here. Yeah, it's true. Who knows? For sure. Knows? And there's, a, of course, we're talking about films now, but there's a very famous painting of François Premier holding <gasps> yes. Leonardo yeah. da Vinci. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about this painting? Is this? Uh, yeah, it's fake news. Yes. <laughs> 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 it's a beautiful painting, but it's fake news. It yeah, is. So I mean, I mean in, in this time, <laughs> first, first, I can say that uh, um, uh, first, the first one was at, 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 uh, at Saint Germain en Laye, so okay. close to Paris, for the birth of his child. So, uh, and you would, it would take one day of a horse riding, uh, fast horse riding, to arrive here. So okay. we didn't have time anyway, and. Uh, no internet, no telephone, so <laughs> as soon as you have to send someone one day and to come back the day after, so you need three days to have the right information, so you can you can die many times. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, David, uh, I mean, Francis the first asked the, the official painter to make uh, this, not photograph, but to make to the, 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 the testimony of his friendship mm -hmm. and also to show that the king is protecting the art. Yes. And and the, the close uh, friendship uh, with uh, with his uh, friend Leonardo da Vinci. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, because Francis the first, he was also uh, a collector of written documentation. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And the goal of Francis the first to invite da Vinci was very interesting also because there is different views to understand that. Um, first, uh, Amboise is uh, uh, the place of power on, on this time. Uh, Paris it was not as powerful, uh, the powerful place. Here we have the Loire River. The Loire River, the Loire River brings the salt and bring all the new fresh products coming from the Americas. Uh, since uh, Christopher Columbus found, found the uh, Americas, uh, there were there, there were also international. Uh, business of goods yeah. uh, with sugar, cocoa, coffee, uh, seeds, also seeds coming from these new countries. Turkey meat is coming from North America. Uh -huh. So Turkey meat only Turkey was the, yeah. uh, uh, was a, 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 a French dish, <laughs> American dish, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, provided for only rich people. Yeah. Uh -huh. You were invited, uh, your uh, ambassadors or, uh, uh, or people come to my table and let, let's let, have a t taste the sugar, taste the cocoa, and taste this meat. And this meat is coming from long distance country, yeah. uh, provided by a uh, boat arriving to Nantes mm -hmm. uh, and along the Loire yeah. coming here. Yeah, because so the, the Loire at this time was uh, the principal artery yeah. of transportation, yeah. transportation for, for, for yeah for goods and, and, and people. Yeah. And, and, we're, we're and the taxes were collected along the river. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the Loire is uh, five minutes. Ten yeah. minute walk from here. Yeah. Yeah, very close. But there is different ways to different theme to understand this time of of European history, and it's very interesting. Gastronomy from Christopher Columbus to today, in every plate you have 
long distance product in your plate. Yeah. But we will have more time to talk about that in the in the kitchen okay, in, the, yes. in the chateau. Okay. And um, and sorry to take so much minutes, but I'm so uh, passionate. passionate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to talk about uh, all these castles and it's the little villages. You know, all, all the people who were here. Yeah, it's, yeah. I have one it's more question before we go about uh, Da Vinci. I know in 2019 there were big festivities here at the yeah. Colise throughout the region to celebrate uh, the 500th anniversary of the start of the Renaissance, which is marked by the 500th anniversary of his death, yep. and the building of Chambord, which is about yep. what, an sure. hour from yeah. here or so. Back yeah, here. interesting time because 2019 we're celebra celebrating the death of Da Vinci, so 500 years. Uh, so 500 years ago, Da Vinci uh, dies here in uh, in, in May, uh, and um, and also Da Vinci had three titles, uh, three true titles. Uh, I would say a business card yeah. provided <laughs> by, by the king as first painter, uh, first um, uh, architect, mm -hmm. and the last one, a very interesting uh, for people trade, is party organizer. Party yeah. organizer. Da Vinci was a party organizer, and the reason is simple. Uh, the king was really young. He won the fir his first battle in 1515 in Marignan. Right. Okay. Just after the battle, as a young king of 22 years old, yes. he has to see and to meet Da Vinci. So Da Vinci arrived there and say, "Oh, uh, I'm the young king." Um, uh, 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 just to imagine, also Da Vinci were one meter ninety. Yeah, oh. one of the tallest kings yeah. in French history. And the king, two meters. So <laughs> very two tall guys coming from outer space. <laughs> and, and because the average size in this time yes. was 160, 165. So uh, my height are shorter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine that. Yeah. And, 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 and the king, as he was young, he, uh, and the king uh, goal was to become an emperor. And to be an emperor, you have to convince other kings, like... Uh, uh, Carlos uh, 15, uh, uh, Charles V, uh, like the Habsburg, like uh, uh, the the English king also. Mm -hmm. So and and all these kings were older. So mm -hmm. he has to show the people that he's different. And that's why the party organizing thing is very interesting because it was kind of a marketing. <laughs> if you go in a very good party, you talk to other people. Say, I was invited by yes. uh, Melania, and the party was good. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't say the name; it's Melania. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 and uh, and you are talking to each other. And say, oh, he's powerful. He's uh, rich. Uh, there were a lot of champagne, and we went to the swimming pool. And, <laughs> and it's the same. I mean, 500 years ago, uh, when you are. Uh, um, Young King, you take the best party organizer, is reproducing the Battle of Marignan. Yes. Uh, it's a show also we did reproduce here. I, I came to that, it was fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, with the, all the horses, the whole... Yeah, yeah it battles was... and and, uh, and the fireworks and so on. Yeah. And, and Da Vinci uh, made the three to four parties for the King here. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like uh, the, the, the planet dance. Uh, imagine uh, dancers representing different planets and the, the king is in the middle and um, fix and the planet is turning around oh, so it was in this time it was the contrary of the what the church wanted to say that uh, mm. uh, the, the, the earth is here and the sun is turning around mm, uh, yeah. so there's a lot of uh, a lot of interesting uh, topics a lot of uh, interesting details uh, that da Vinci was uh, um, studying and he reproduces his study in the in the show. And this tradition continues today because uh, you do events here, concerts, Renaissance yeah, music. Yeah. Um, there is restaurants here as well. Can yeah. people also do events here at the Corbusier? Yeah, we, we do. Uh, as we are privately owned, we can do everything in terms of uh, party organizing, uh, mm -hmm. in terms of seminars, in terms of uh, receiving congress. Um, team building, uh, team buildings, uh, <laughs> yeah. things you can easily understand in the U.S. Yeah, absolutely. And is there truth? There's another rumor. There's so much. It's, it's such a, a mystical figure, Renaissance man. Uh, da Vinci inspires so many stories. Is it true about the underground passageway between 
the Chateau Creuset <laughs> and the Chateau of D'Amboise, yeah, yeah. the king and Da Vinci would meet to. It, 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 it's a really, uh, it's the most um, interesting question we have from journalists. Is that is that mm -hmm. true? The problem is that for people, they are they are thinking that uh, we are kind of a subway passageway or <laughs> from point A to point B right. uh, and no extraction between. You have to think that in this time from uh, official power place like the, the Chateau of Amboise to um, uh, annex like yes. uh, the Colusé, there is escape tunnel. And ah, escape mm -hmm. tunnel mm -hmm. can be for security reason from point A to point B. Yeah. Ah. But there is point A B, C, D, F, G, and so on, right. to, to point yeah. uh, O. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's the thing. So we are going to together to go in this uh, first step of this passageway, Ooh, and, uh, and yeah. um, we will understand better why it see it is uh, blocked now, okay. and uh, and for security reason, but also from. Napoleonian uh, code Napoleonia, Napoleon uh, laws or code yeah. regulating the the, 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 the property uh, in this time, uh, so in the 90s, beginning of the 90s, all the owners of uh, uh, tunnels have mm -hmm. to block the tunnels when uh -huh. it's going into public ways, yes. or if not, they are responsible of damage. Yes, so that's yeah. why in this time most of the tunnels are blocked. Okay, yeah. well, the sun has just come out, should we? Yeah. Have a walk around the yeah. garden, then go in the castle, and that's Noir yeah. Valley. Noir Valley, it starts sometimes grey, and uh, around eleven o'clock for aperitif. Uh, <laughs> we <laughs> have going another better. season. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Let's go. Come with us. Oh my gosh, we could talk forever. access to the main uh, building uh, and it's from this point of view that the kings used to participate on the court used to participate to the um, to the uh, shows that uh, Leonardo da Vinci did provide for the king so apart from the the crowd uh, from maybe the stage were there uh, and there is one famous uh, party named as a uh, festa del paradiso the the, 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 the the paradise party where people were describing the the, the scene uh, where the, there is a there were a big blue curtain and da Vinci uh, the, the writers wrote that da Vinci reproduced the the, the, the galaxy on it so all the uh, maybe the, the stars and uh, mm -hmm. all the uh, uh, astrological things uh, mm -hmm. known in this time so you, people were writing it was the night in the night. Oh. Interesting things because we, we find a lot of texts describing these shows and after that we give that to uh, um, uh, artist producers and they are recreating sometimes during summer uh, this, this, party? this party but we don't have a lot of uh, description. Will the Clarisse recreate this party? That could be yeah, really yeah, fun. Yeah, most of the time when we are uh, Talking about new uh, show or new things, we we, we try to find text and uh, give that to uh, uh, the, the 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 artist to, to reproduce it. Okay. And you know, also Da Vinci were known for special effects. Yes. Um, it was a kind of a George Lucas in this time. <laughs> yeah. There is a, a description of uh, one fact uh, that uh, the king were in the crowd and then um, a lion. Were, ju yes. were just in front of the king, and the, and the king took the sword, put the, 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 the sword over the head of the lion, then the lion lay down, and from his heart, uh, from, uh, from his body, opened, and um, uh, um, this flower, lily flowers were oh, coming out. Yeah. And this thing was kind of an automatic lion, oh. uh, like, um, not a robot, but an automatic thing. Uh, coming to the king uh, with a special timing and it was a kind of a show um, uh, 
perf performed by the king and, and, and the special effect. Right. So, so first we arrive in the Da Vinci's bedroom. Of course, in this time, uh, the access was not as direct as uh, we are providing to our visitors, but it is the place that where we are sure that it was his bedroom. So, as you can notice, it's a um, human-sized room, and it's very important to, uh, to talk about human-sized room with a big chimney because the, the most important thing when you want to receive a guest is to, pro to, pro is to provide the security. And the security is not only made of wall, but the security about the, 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 the temperature. Mm -hmm. So providing a human-sized space with a big cheminée is offering a good atmosphere of work, a good atmosphere to, to live. That this Yes, okay. So it is and very a mix of two things. You have to imagine that the tapestry is like a, a flat TV in this time. Yes. When you are, you are ordering the tapestry uh, and you want, you, you give, you, you, you are providing the theme of the tapestry you would like to have. So uh, funny uh, dreamland uh, uh, image. And then you have to wait. Not, not as easy as ordering on Amazon. Uh, you have to wait sometimes three, six, one year, and then you are receiving it. So you are putting it right into the wall, and then you are inviting friends uh, yeah. of other chateaux. Oh, I received my tapestry. There is a strange animal. Uh, come and, and, and see it. And then it was a kind of exchange. I said, oh, what, what is it talking about? It is uh, talking about uh, the, the, the chimera dream of uh, a famous person, and so on and so on. So it was a kind of a, a get-together time mm -hmm. uh, with something uh, expensive, because you are invited and you are showing also that you are rich, or rich enough to have this kind of modern uh, decoration. So other room, it used to be the, the Cabinet de travail, uh, work, uh, working uh, cabinet here of Da Vinci uh, in the previous years. And uh, Francois Saint Brice, uh, the, the current owner, wanted to show that uh, Chateau Clonusset was also the, 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 the place uh, where the, the family of King Francis I were also uh, living. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, uh, Marguerite de Nada, the sister of King Francis I, used to uh, live here uh, also. So we, 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 have a, we, we, we reproduce uh, kind of a room, uh, but with, a, of course, a different time as the time as Da Vinci. Mm -hmm. So we have Louis de Savoie. Okay, you have uh, the, uh, um, what has the blason? Uh, emblem, no? uh, Blazon, coat, arm, coat of arms. Coat of arms. Uh -huh. um, you, you have a Charles VIII, uh, Anne of Brittany, also. Anne of Brittany will have to have yes. the, the little chapel uh, added to the building of the Colossae. Brazil. <laughs> La Bretagne. And uh, the arms of uh, uh, King of France. Um, something easy to imagine uh, down to the stairs. We have, uh, when, when people wanted to uh, settle and to live in Chateau and they didn't want to move from other place to place, they put a trunk and over a trunk, they fix it and it here becomes the fixed uh, furniture. Ah. And this one is, uh, is easy because ah. you can easily imagine a trunk and another trunk and then you open it to make windows ah. just to show how rich you are and protect it. And it's, it will become uh, furniture.
Sorry there. So imagine it was a 18th century decoration. So there were there were a lot of concrete, four centimeters of concrete to recover uh, with a uh, um, uh, blue color and uh, wood uh, basement here and uh, uh, wood floor also. Uh, also the, the the logs here were hidden by uh, other uh, concrete and when we renovate it, we find the wood logs and we found the three first wood logs were painted and Francois Saint-Louis has to reproduce the same uh, mm. decoration on all of them. So we can say that the, the three first wood logs there were not uh, changed during the time of uh, life of this uh, building. So, Amazing. yeah, so, and the original, the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we found other things. I mean, in other rooms, we found other wood logs decorated. So we have to imagine. Uh, down to the park at 700 meters far in, from here, there is the Priory restaurant. Mm -hmm. The Priory restaurant means that where the priors uh, are uh, living. So they are living apart from the court. Ah, oh, the priests live there. To okay. pray. And to serve also uh, three times or four times a day here in the chapel for, for uh, Anne of Brittany. Ah, okay. And during the time of Da Vinci, uh, there is a, the wall paintings also. Wall paintings interesting because probably made by the students that Da Vinci has to train. Uh, just to renew there, Da Vinci called master has to transmit his knowledge to young people and his techniques. And that was the, the, the right purpose of Da Vinci here. We can't imagine Da Vinci up into a ladder to paint himself his tapis, yeah. this wall paintings. But we can imagine him telling his orders to young students uh, like to apprentice. how to paint. So, yeah. Something like an apprentice? Yeah. yeah. So here you have annunciation, and here you have interesting in Latin is Virgo Lucis, the, 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 the virgin over. The light, and it's also the, probably the origin of the name Clos Lucé. Lucé means the light, Clos it means closed. So we are the place under the light, under the protection of God. Giverny, you are visiting Van Gogh in the south, uh, you are visiting a lot of uh, special interest in terms of uh, uh, artists, uh, painter mostly, and most of these painters, they, they are expressing their mood, they are expressing themselves through the painting. In Da Vinci painting it's different, as for me, uh, there is a lot of techniques in, in, in the Da Vinci way of painting. Mona Lisa is very, very interesting, it's like a... Um, Three illusion, in, in optical illusion provided to your brain. Uh, try to describe that. So first, the harmony of the painting. So if you take this size here, from the top to the eye, you have kind of a one valor here, and then you have one, two, three. So nearly three. So it's a one one quarter okay. is part. So it's pleasing you your your brain to this kind of harmony. And then this eye is in the middle. Oh, yeah. So it's pleasing also your brain. Then you have the first character, 
with a special light provided to, the, to this first character with a kind of a hot color. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, um, yellow uh, and yeah, a warm color and over a, 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 a cold color, a blue. Mm -hmm. And there is no line Be behind the Mona Lisa. There is one line here, maybe a lake, but here you have. The, the, the top of the trees, so no line be behind. You have a line here and you have a line there. So it's disturbing yes. your brain. Mm -hmm. So your eye is only focusing on the first character yes. and focusing on the smile and, 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 and the, 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 the eyes. Behind the Mona Lisa there is uh, uh, a track here and there is uh, a bridge, different size also small bridge and a kind of a same uh, s scale or size of this uh, of this uh, road so different also it's it's disturbing uh, all yes. the background of the mona lisa is disturbing your uh, evaluation of the distance mm -hmm. symbolize and the the, the 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 renaissance is the sugar so this is a kind of a pain uh, pain of pain sugar uh, was traveling uh, six months of traveling by boat from um, Americas uh, to Europe so uh, people were bringing sugar cocoa coffee uh, and we say that sugar has the same price as gold in this time mm. so I'm very rich uh, if I have this kind of uh, piece and only rich people can afford of sugar I mean the sugar flavor the sweet flavor uh, in the medieval time till Renaissance were only made by a honey, uh, honey from honeybee, mm -hmm. um, and natural fruit sugar. Mm -hmm. To have this strong sugar, it's like a drug. I mean, it, 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 it's it is. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's uh, this drug is coming from uh, Americas. Thank you so much. This was an incredible private tour of the Chateau de Clorice. So if you soon come to Amboise, please do. Absolutely, you must visit the Chateau de Clorice. So much history in these walls. The warmest welcome. And you will learn so many fascinating details about the Chateau, but also the life of Leonardo da Vinci and uh, the incredible things he did between uh, science, art, um, painting, Yes. You name it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Gail. It was Thank spectacular. You. I learned so much that I did not know before because uh, I tend to focus sharing information, history about the kings and the queens. So it was really a nice complimentary experience to learn so much more about Da Vinci, his life here at the Chateau, the family of Saint-Brice, yeah. and everything you do here to promote Clos-Lucé. So thank you for walking through time and allowing us to share this piece of spectacular history with you. And he's still got his post. Yeah, so that's he's still got his post. <laughs> and we're back too. So big ears, and if you like French dish, sign up. Yeah! <laughs> that's it for this edition of French Dish. A bientôt! See you soon in Amboise!